What's up, citizens? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, MC Adventure City. Welcome to episode 48 of Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode, where I have gotten eight more Draconic Cores to make four Wyvern Cores for the quest. I just realized this takes Draconium, too, so we will need to go mine more. I was just thinking about how we have almost enough, but we actually don't. We need four of these. This should be a quest, right? Yes, it is. Well, the next step is to get four awakened cores. We need 12 more wyvern cores. We need 48 more of the regular draconic cores. So. Can we get for 48 times four is 192? Yes, we can grab that. Where's our Draconium? We have, we have almost enough to get the Draconic cores, but we all have. Actually, now we don't. Never mind. Okay, there we go. Now, goes in there. We will need to go back to the end, actually. In our Ender Pearls, which we. Thanks to the fluid cows, we have tons of. There's more processing there. Where's our... Where is our... Blaze powder right there. Repair this real quick. Repair our end cake. There we go. We should actually be able to do that. There we go. We repair our end cake so we can go to the end and mine a bunch more draconium. Which I'm not going to use our digital miner for. I'll mine it manually. Where is our... Okay. What are they looking for? Also, a couple other things I did. I changed this to a grass pad. <laughs> Hopefully that, that means they won't be glitching up against the side trying to escape anymore. Doesn't look like I've we've had that situation yet. But um Also I moved our magma crucible over here, which this is almost done. Producing this. That got us looks like 30 70 buckets. Of, uh, so that's enough for 14 more. Okay, yes. So what we could do if we fix our... Oh, yes, I was going to fix our sand. Which, how much sand do we have? 405. Let's see if I can extract the sand out of... This is the dust drawer. I can extract sand out of here. Uh, it does mean I'm probably going to have to move some channels around or change some channels, per se. Where's our light of conduits? We had a ton of them here. Item. So now we're going to need to somehow move this around. So I'll put this on a different channel. No. I'm uh, no, just, just going to get that from power. Did not mean to do that. What I was going to do is move this to brown. Move this to brown. Move this to brown. And this will also be brown. This will also be brown. So now what I can do is just run this. Oops. We don't want to do that because then we'll have issues getting our other stuff around. So we will move, we will have um, the gravel part be green. This isn't an issue. We'll have gravel be green. Um, and dust over here, dust will be, oh crap. 
make dust on, on its own channel too, or like purple or something like that. Let's, let's get over here. Blue, blue. And then this dust channel will be blue. Oh God, don't tell me we're gonna need to. Oh, and this is brown, this needs to change. Or no, I'll actually, I'll move this to blue. Uh, or this to purple. And then the ones that are purple. And this will be blue. 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 And then we need our, wherever our brown was here, which is this one. Blue, uh, blue, and this will insert on blue. And then we're going to have to fix this so that this inserts on purple. Or extracts on purple. And this needs to insert on purple. That needs to... Just extracting on brown, or inserting on brown. Oh wait. So the brown is for... what? Uh, that pulling from our byproducts. We don't need to change that then. We'll insert on brown. Dust byproduct. Then we're going to need to change this so that let's make sure none of these are actually emptying. That's no, not emptying. But all we need to do now is hook up the blue lines together. Oh, what we're going to have to do is go to the blue. No, not there. There we go. Now, will this fill up with more sand? Yes, it will. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that anymore. We shouldn't have to worry about that anyways. Um... So that'll get, make us more sand. But then our next issue is automating aerothium dust. Which I re remembered we can do with this. With redstone, which we have infinite of. Sand, which we now have infinite of. So I'll get to, uh, like it's blitz powder, and then we need to combine this with niter. Now the niter is the issue here. We can eventually magical crops that. So, n but how much do we have now, current? We're at 172. Do we need it for anything else? We need it for cryothium too. Okay. We have cryothium in through fluid cows as well, so. I don't need to use that recipe. I don't think we need phytogrow. Actually, do we need phytogrow for anything? Reinforced watering hands. So we do need a bit of rich phytogrow. What about regular phytogrow? That's not using anything. Okay, so our, I'll make one batch of rich phyto grow. Since uh, we might need that, I don't know. Char. No. Mind this? No, we cannot. So we need our uh, niter. Crack this up. This. Oh, this is overkill. Not really, though. We need a rich phyto grow. I'll get two batches of it. 16 should be good. We won't need that ever again, aside from getting the reinforced, which I don't even know if we need that. Um, blitz powder, aerothium. So, aerothium, we have blitz powder we can get from the fluid transposer. So, we need another fluid transposer. I'll steal this one for now. Okay, actually, no, this is going to take a bit too long to set up, so I'll go wait a second on that. For now, what else do we need to get? Well, let's go ahead and actually check our Mangaloy. We should have three stacks here, which I will go ahead and craft up into. Or I'll dump them in this chest. 
Wait. Wait a minute. I don't understand why this won't pull. This should have the integrated uh, servo mechanism. Yes, it's in there. I don't know why it's not pulling, so I guess I'm gonna have to change this to be. Yeah. Oh, that explains it. I'm not allowing it in item. Oh, that's our output chest. Duh. We need an input chest then as well. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. I'll go ahead and just get an input chest. Chest. Gonna put items from here, here. Just to be insert. Extract. Oh, no, always active. One and two. That will start making more glowing mangaloi. I'm gonna get more Zephyr and Erothium without the cows. Um, okay, it would help if this wasn't full. <laughs> it's our second full tank of Jelly Cryothium. Let's uh, do something about that. We have another empty tank here. Yeah. It would help if that wasn't full. We'd still be getting this crap. Okay. I might as well just throw a fluid trash can here <gasps> on the fluids we're not gonna have. We need to somehow dump excess. I wonder if we can just, wait a minute. I doubt there's a setting in here to dump excess. Nope. So let's go ahead and just um, fluid trash can. Fluid, just some trash and fluids. We need a couple other trash cans. We need so we need chests. Get chests. Two of these. There we go. Two fluid trash cans or trash. Oh, there we go. And then we get two of these buckets. And then I will replace this. So this um, should now. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll actually go ahead and actually. No, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just replace this. This. This should keep our filters right. Yes, it's filtered on jelly cryothium is voiding. So we have two full tanks of stuff. I will go also go ahead and empty this one. And now we go ahead and disabled that. So we have that tank back. There we go. So we are now voiding. Cryothium. We should still be getting the Fury and Arrow. Yes, we are currently at 15. Okay, that's better than 14. Still too slow. Let's figure this out now. So the um we're gonna need another fluid transposer for this and an interface. Question is how are we gonna wire our ME cut stuff up there? So far away from our system. Simple, we just run another dense line. <laughs> I don't know how many dense cables we have. How many dense cables do we have? 23? Yeah, that's not gonna be a stretch. I might actually. Where's our let's see here. Uh one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And no, that went too far. So we'll reach the answer. 
One, two, three, four. We have eight left. Okay. So we'll get another interface. Oh, and the capacitor's finished. Okay, so we can make our capacitor bank for our dimensional transceiver that I've also been working on. Where's our capacitors? 32. We need to iron. Of iron and block redstone for the capacitor bank. Here it goes, yeah. There we go. Get two of our capacitors. I'll get these and these in our steel. Dark and electrical. Where's that electrical? Where's our that this 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 two vibrant capacitor banks. Which will go in back into the QED actually. Let's actually take a look at because we need our and then we need light infused quartz. I'll we'll actually put these in our system for now, or I'll put them in this chest. Let's go ahead and take a look at our our what? Our our ref. Where's our um we're doing oh yeah we're making another interface there we go a bunch of interfaces and now we wait uh, or one interface to make our what what are we working on first We'll go ahead and uh, we were we were gonna automate, so we need another fluid transposer, which I will use that one actually for now. Now that we have the interface hooked up, so this what is it? It's right here. This will combine with redstone. So I need a stack of redstone, sand. Okay, we need another magma crucible too. Okay, so we'll get another magma crucible. these whetstone frame and then we go ahead and get ourselves our magma crucible which also requires this stuff okay we're out of nether bricks well no we do have two nether brick blocks actually so we need a machine frame we need this and this so we need two red alloy And then that. And then we need our invar. We need invar eight. Actually twelve. Four to turn into gears. And then we need our there we go. gears. We need one of those. We need our another capacitor there we go our goal is to get the dire crafting table this episode honestly Although I'm not too hopeful about that. Let's uh This should be working now. Capacitor. Capacitor. I have to the right letter. Mm. There we go. One. So 
than this with the invar. Invar all twelve. I will put with four glass and a gear. Let's go ahead and put this away. Glass. One, two, three, four. That away. And our gear. Let's go ahead and do one. Two, three, and one, two, three, four. No. I put that in there, didn't I? One, two, three, four. There we go. Now the rest of this goes here. That'll extract everything we need for another magma cruiser. We now have everything for. Let's make that then. Get this and this. Look this up here. Wait a minute. We can save a cable by doing that. Okay, yeah. Right. We did save a cable by doing that, right? Oh, yeah. Magma Crucible. Oh, we need another crafter too. Okay, another Enderio crafter. You know, we might actually tear out our. No, we can't really tear out that one because we. This goes here. And then it'll feed into the other fluid transposer. Which. Well, I'll put fluid to the top. Wait. The fluid transposer will output to the crafter. Oh wait. Just make a bit more room for this actually. Where's that? So we need our magma crucible fluid transposer. We get all that. Fluid transposer, I need to say. This is going slowly. It's a 20 out of 192. But hopefully once we get this working, we can interface into this fluid transposer. We, all we need to do is interface um, sand. Somehow get the interface hooked up here. Let's just go ahead and get ourselves. Duh. This and this and this. So now, what we need is our interface. Enter. to output from this interface. We need to input redstone. This needs to be extracted. Yeah, this needs to be input from the back. Insert, this needs to extract on green. Always active, this will fill up with uh, destabilized redstone. And then we're gonna need to input sand on another channel. So let's get some sand. So now at 1300. Like this. We will input into the fluid transposer. Wait, we need a stack. Put 
these in the end of pouch for now. Import them back into the system, and then this will output to this. And then what we need to do is get our sand extracted. Well, actually, we are going to need to filter this, aren't we? So we need just one of these and one redstone. Or one sand and one redstone. And we need two filt. Two filters. Easy enough. I want to whitelist the redstone here. And then on the other one, we're going to whitelist the... On the other channel, we're going to whitelist... Um, this will be the brown channel. We'll extract on brown. We're going to whitelist sand. And then this goes here. Insert on brown. Should be inserting sand, right? Always active. Duh. And now, if we do start producing blitz powder, would we then have to feed into an Enderio crafter? So yeah, let's go ahead and make another crafter. So for the crafter, we need another capacitor. Kapa. Basic capacitor. And then we need the crafter, which I don't have a bookmarked. I will take this over there. I will take that off there. And then our Z, our crafter from Ender.io is easy enough. After that, we need Duty Dizzy Electric Controller. So we need some Solarium, Zombie Head. Redstone. No. Redstone. No, redstone. Okay, we need to come out get this. There we go. There we go. It keeps flickering because we yeah. Let's get solarium because it's using it. We need a zombie head and silicon. And a zombie head. Where's our zombie head? Oh, they're out here. Yeah, there we go. Busy logic controller and get a crafting table. It's still done. So we need a craft. Oh crap. So we need a craft table. So then we need our capacitor R and four steel. Again, to make a chassis. I know there's an easier way to do this because there's um there's the uh, assembly table recipe. But because our assembly table is currently so slow, it's one of our main bottlenecks in this base. I will wait to make this. Yeah, so what we're gonna need to do is output um. Okay, we will output this to the crafter, which will be over here in the middle, actually. There we go. We will output to the top. That will go there. And then I will go ahead and wait to hook it up, though, because we're going to need our right, crafter. We need to say... Aerothium dust. Do we need to import niter? We need to insert the redstone. Okay, so niter. We'll go ahead and import that, which we're low on niter, unfortunately. So we are going to have to make our 
not to grow crop seeds for that sooner than later. Go ahead and add this on the interface. I will actually get a stack. We're not going to buffer a whole stack since we have in the interface. I'll buffer a half stack. Later. And then we have to go ahead and buffer a half a stack of this in the interface. And then this we will extract on blue and put it directly in the crafter. Get our sand. This is a shapeless recipe, but I'm gonna do it in this order. And is this, how far is this? Oh, this needs to be hooked up to power too, which is gonna be a bit difficult. Oh, we have a solution here. Simply to just do this, this, and this. This needs to be disabled so we don't accidentally give this too much power. Ah, that's not possible, but still, it's weird. That'll fill up. And then we can craft up. Up to 24. Like a sixth of the way there. Or no, like, like a tenth of the way there or something. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and... Um, this will just be green. Insert in there. This we will extract always active. This isn't necessary though, I mean technically. But then we need to somehow get the redstone. So we need to insert this on green as well. That'll fill up with redstone. And now we need to extract Niter, so we need another filter. God, I need a wireless terminal. Wireless terminal. Fill. Fill. Her. For night. Her. We'll filter this on Niter. Just will extract niter. Open some blue. And then we need our move these tanks out of the way. This we will go ahead and do. Why is this not filling up with sand? Oh, because we need to insert on brown as well. Brown, oh, whatever. Okay. And then we insert on blue. There we go. Now this needs to be extract always active. I'll fill up with a lot of that. And now this we will just extract on another channel and insert into here. So we don't need this chest anymore actually. So let's go ahead and do accent. Wait, no, this is gonna go here still. It's to be insert on purple. Need to go in out, insert on green, extract on purple. There we go. One, two, three. Now this should, if I'm correct, push. There we go. Now this will start producing us automatic. The only issue is our niter supply is limited. Once we run out of niter, we run out of niter. So we either go find more nether saltpeter or, which we have here, actually. 
Let's go ahead and pulverize this. Should get us 110 more. That'll help. Pulverizer. We'll get us some more, so that'll help the situation a little. So we're now at 28. This is still going to take forever. To get to a full 192 of the glowing Megaloy. So, well, now that that's done, let's move on to our next goal. Let's get more Draconium. Actually, I for did I ever pull this out of the chest here? So how much do we need total for, let's say, oh, we need to do the awakening ritual too. So that's a bunch more in itself. Oh crap, I just, I just remembered that. Let's go ahead and claim these quests. Draconic core. We need 16 more um, regular, or no, what was it? Project was, I was only have the reward cheat sheet project. So we need to go to Lambda and uh, Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. So our Draconic Core is good. This is good. Our Wyvern is good greater. Wait, what? Our Core is all greater. Let's look at the Wyvern armor. Good. Crap. Okay, so one, two, three. Rue. Word back greater. That's plain. <laughs> so then to get the awakened, so we need to find awakened draconium section. So we need to do a dragon heart, four charged draconium blocks. Let's go ahead and get the charged draconium blocks. That's, uh, there's two quests for that for some reason. Don't tell me we have to smeltery this. Apparently it exists in the smeltery, so. so yeah, we have to melt it in the smeltery. Please tell me also that we are done. We are not done with this. Why is this not inserting? That's weird. So we do need our casting basin. Back here. We need to grab this back. And then this, oh, I hope we have enough temperature to melt this. We don't need to use pyrosium or anything to melt this. Oh yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So that will produce us draconium blocks. While I wait on that, how much more do we need for our for not our awakened draconium, but for just in general. Um, awakened cores. So we need 12 more wyvern cores. So that's 48 plus 192. Let's calculate this. 48, 240 more of that. Okay. Plus this is for the awakening process we need 16. Oh, but this is another stack. So that's what is that? 240 plus uh plus 64. That's 304. So we will need 304 draconium. More in addition to what we already have. Am I correct in assuming that? Or or no. 139. So let's actually um, say we need 64 plus. That's not an addition to what we already have. So 304 minus 139. We actually need like 165. So three stacks of Draconium effect. Let's go ahead and put this away. Let's head to the end. Well, we do need to do our. Our. Let's see if this is done yet. Looks like it is. Okay. Draconium blocks, let's charge these real quick. There's a separate quest for charged Draconium blocks for some reason. Throw them in here. Boop, 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 
This is gonna drain like crazy. Is that one billion? I think that might be one billion actually. Let's wait for that to refill. That's a quest in itself. Charged is basic. Okay, basic reward bag. Here we go. Play reward. It's a quest updated notification. So we need to go ahead and now that that's done. Do the awakening ritual. Which I will go ahead and get if we have a stack of these by now. And I doubt we do. We are at 52, so we're getting there, actually. Let's go ahead and do the awakening ritual somewhere. TNT. We need our TNT. TNT. Oh, that's right. We need to take Nalem for that. Sig. Nalem. Just craft four right there. Get our red alloy. One of these. There we go. Sig Nalem. There we go. This is one TNT. I wonder if we can use tiny TNT for this. Mm. We need 16 draconic cores. Okay. This, we're probably out of niter by now. Yeah, we're out of niter already. So we're not gonna have enough, are we? Crap, we were so close. We were so close. Come on. Come on, we were so close. That's even with the extra that we pulverized. <sighs> well, yeah, let's just go ahead and end to the end, or the nether, I guess, and take our digital miner in order to get more, or is it just miner? Digital miner vibrant capacitor bank. Or another saltpeter. We get it, like, I don't know. Stack of it. Oh god. That's right, we need to we need to plug this. Bad. We don't have anything to plug it with. to just digital mine this this config I will disable this filter or delete it new filter so ordict or nether saltpeter check save that start that that's 45 yeah we can easily mine that stuff of that, and that'll help us quite a bit. I realized I forgot to unload the chunks in uh, in the other. Which which planet was that? Was that Saturn or Uranus that I forgot to unload my chunks? So, so while we wait on this, we wait. I will do the awakening ritual. Okay. So our awakening ritual, that's what we have to do now. Right now we're at 16. These. There's some right here. Let's actually see if we. That's two. Or I'll take this actually. So 
some of this we can use for crop seeds. Where was our portal again? Crap. There, right there. So we'll be up to 48 here. How do I get up here again? There we go. And then we'll go ahead and uh, get a crescent hammer. And we need to go s slash home. Home. First things first, we pulverize this in our pulverizer. This should start back up again, right? We'll start back up again, and now this is clogged again, so we need to go ahead and... Actually, I'll go ahead and replace this with a fluid trash can. So we have multiple full things of resonant ender. Oh, we're fine. Let's do this. Let's finish this. That's a stack of uh, draconium as well. And the, I'll go ahead and craft up our draconic cores. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now that should be the awakening ritual here. TNT, Charge Draconium, and our Dragon Heart. Dragon Heart. Weird that that's not detecting in uh, the Better Questing book. It normally shows up in both. So I will go ahead and I think I remember how to do this. Let's go Awakened. Which is a lot easier in. lot easier in uh, with the dragon heart on the ground. We don't need a flint and steel for this. We should have somewhere. One is chests, maybe. Flint steel. Oh, no, it's in our bag. I will need some obsidian as well so we don't blow up the We'll set this up over here, just to make room for possibly auto possible automation later. It's three by five, and we'll do four by five. Yep. 
So then we need to place the ch charged draconium blocks. Oh, you first off have to, to do the team, ignite the dragon heart. And now we need to wait. No. Make sure we do take off our ring of magnetization first. I'll go ahead and find our ignite this. It will float. Successful. There we go. And now we need to drop the draconic cores and one, two. Three, four. Did we? Wait, did it work? Did we not? There we go. Okay. Four awakened draconium blocks. We'll turn those into ingots. Please don't tell me we can. Okay, we don't have to worry about smeltering them. There are are there seeds for this? Doesn't look like it, unless they're in here. There's no awakened seeds, unfortunately. Wait, there might be if we use the blocks. Awakened draconium ingots. Are there seeds here? Oh no, you just use them to make another star seeds. That's it. Well then. Now let's see how much uh, we have here. Now we will need another stack of mangaloy though. That's the issue. Let's actually go ahead and do that then. Let's fix our rich slag issue. Um now the sand it seems to be seems to be stable. We don't need very much more, but I will go ahead and find our setup, which is over here by the immersive engineering stuff, that's right. Still importing sand here? We are. These extra clocks in there. And I will go ahead and actually take the sand off of here for now. Just let it run out. So we're at 22 out of... What is that, 128? Rich. We're at 60. Still going. Should hopefully get to rich. 64 rich slag. We're at 62 right now. Now, after we got a rich slag, we use this little. We're almost there. Come on. We'll need some sand. Actually, this is finished. Yeah, and then we'll get our clocks, our extra clocks. We'll throw those in our other induction smelter. Over here. I upgraded to reinforced. Yes. So our slag. We're now 67, so we'll go ahead and say our. We'll go ahead and mang alloy. Stack more of this. Let that run. Let's see if we're out of this yet. No, we're not. We're still good on it. 
if I can actually calculate how much niter we'll need for this. So we need, if for the remaining, how many are there here? We'll say two and a half stacks. 160 times four, that is, or 160, wait a minute, 160 mangaloid times five, that is 800 buckets of, um, of uh, aerothium times four, that is 3,200 aerothium dust, divided by two, 16, or 800, or so, yeah, 1,600, um, so now we don't have enough. Not surprising, though. Let's actually save some niter. Do we, how do we make the seeds out of this? So we probably need seeds. Niter seeds? It's under saltpeter, isn't it? So saltpeter seeds. Yeah, we need dense nether saltpeter ore. Which we don't have. In the ore form, at least. We need to get more of it. So we either we wait or we wait for the fluid cow. <laughs> Mangaloy. Get this. We'll put this in our Oh yeah, we're running out already. Yeah. Please don't tell me this is clogging. I mean, the fluid cow will help. It's just it takes forever. It takes 20 seconds, we'll say, per bucket. We'll say 22 seconds per bucket. 22 times how many buckets was that? That is, so if we have uh, how many left, let's say. We have, uh, we'll say, 24 plus 128 plus 24, that's 152, times 5, that is 760 buckets times 22 seconds each, that is that many seconds, that is 60, that is, yeah, like four hours worth of waiting. Not gonna do it. I might have no choice right now. Well, no, we do have a choice. Let's go to the nether, mine some more stuff. <laughs> our other capacitor bank. There we go. Place this back on there. Uh, and then we head back to the nether. Head somewhere else in the nether. Maybe further up in R. Let's see if I can make this... Uh, We need to break this uh, source here. Or, yeah. Are we getting time? We need to recharge our armor too. There's a lot of these sources here that are issues. That cause issues. This is the main one. Peter, if I can uh, see anything over the over the fire. Probably put my ring up back on. Quartz, it's all quartz. Please tell me the salt Peter spawns this high. Oh god! I right, did it again. Okay, let's go ahead and. Wait, is this it right here? Yeah, there's some salt, Peter. Wait, no. Wrong. Wrong. Let's place our digital miner down if I can find it. There 
it is. Start. Five. Oof. Yeah, because there's no land around. That's why we need to head okay. Armageddon. <laughs> Try it over here too. Once this is done, I'll go ahead and hello, spider. Okay, it fell. Or I don't know, but okay, it fell. So let's go ahead and do this and uh, this. There we go, that's better. You know, for 152, the 152 times five is, how many buckets was it? 760? So 760 times, 760 times four divided by two. So we need that much more saltpeter. A lot of that. A lot of saltpeter ore, honestly. It's just um, so we'll move our digital miner around a few times. Let's go ahead and uh, another rack here. So many random lava sources. Hello. Hello. Wait, are we still recording? Oh yeah, we are. So, I really need to cut. I will be back in a bit. And we are back. I have now acquired everything needed to make the remaining draconic cores, including the nether stars. So we should have 48 of these. Now this should make us 12 wyvern cores. Oh boy. Of wyvern cores. Gets us up to 16 total wyvern cores. As you can see, I'm working on the other stuff, which is now done. So I gotta throw this in the slice and splice. Slice and splice. This is a slice and splice. There's some zombie electrode. Should be able to get our ender. And our Lumium. We need one of these. And then we need our gear. Or, um, or no, our frame. Reinforced frame. This is for the ME controller that we need for the dire crafting table. So let me go ahead and toss that one there. Let's make a gear. Once that finishes. Well, actually, before I do this, I'm going to make the Awakened course. We also got enough Nether Stars. Plus eight extra for the Awakened Draconium. But we need a Wither Farm, a proper Wither Farm. So our Stars. There we go. That's a quest done. That unlocks the first quest here, which is automatically, which is the crystal matrix and get which we crafted ahead of time. So let's take a look at the quest, quest guide. 
here, take a look at the what we can get for the quests in Lambda here, which are the uh, Awakening Ritual, Greater Epic Greater, so I'll pick the Epic obviously, Awaken Core, Epic Epic Epic. Oh, we can't claim this yet, because I need to put this away, our Endear Ethereum gear, I will go ahead and put this in here. One, two, three, four. It's going to take six million RF. And while I do that, I will go ahead and clean this up and our machine frame resonance is being worked on. So then for the Awaken Core, we can now claim the Epic one. For some reason, put itself in a different slot. Now, finally, we can claim the first quest in Mew, which is Crystal Matrix, or Matrix. This is both epic as well. Okay, now let's see, what do we get? Let me actually hold on to light oxygen tanks. It's not the best reward, but I'll take more oxygen tanks. This needs to go in the, in the, not the trash in here. Speed belt, we already have one of those. And how many nether stars? One. <laughs> one nether star. Well, I mean, I'll take the nether star, honestly. It just brings us up to nine, but it's... Why do I feel like, oh yeah, we have this guy. Kill this. So, silverfish, another silverfish thing. So we put this away here. And once this frame finishes, we should have everything. But we need to make the actual ME controller too for the dire crafting table, which requires skystone blocks. We have to concentrate cloud seed. We need an engineering processor. Where's our sky? Well, we need to do this actually. We need our stone barrel. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and get some lava here. I'll pull out of the, I'll rip out of the smeltery if possible. Just um, take this out of the smeltery for now, and then we go ahead and put this in here. And then we need our skystone dust, if I'm correct, in the sweetest. It's a skystone, which we then smelt in here. To get into skystone blocks, and I also made a bunch of a bunch of pure fluex. Let me control our block. We have everything except for what was that on the top? The engineering processor, of course. E N G, engineering processor, and then. We need the two buckets of cloud seed, which we get out of the leftmost. This fat, yeah. Then this goes in here. This goes in here. Oh, and I never was working on that. So wait on our. This is still going, actually. That should be done any second now. There we go. I mean, controller. Apparently, wait a minute. Wait, we haven't crafted a controller to count for the achievement? That's weird. So now, for the dire crafting table, we have everything. We just need to get the crystal matrix. Tricks. There we go. And we need a compressed one of these things here we go and this will take 8 million RF though is the only issue watch this be a crafting task now it's a detection task graph table and now we should be able to get our dire crafting table which will take a bit of time Do, do, do. There we go. 
It's going to take a while, though. Yeah. Officially have everything. This is still building up. This needs to build back up the sand here. This is round robining, right? On the blue channel, yes, round robin is enabled. So it should be inserting blue here. There we go. This is a quarter of the way there. This is an eight-minute segment on top of the hour video we have already. I'm just glad this is okay. We're backed up. I just realized I forgot to turn this off. And we're out of nighter again. Hey, at least we're backed up here. So we're going to need more glowing Mangalai, though, so that's good. To get through the rest of the Draconic Evolution quest line and beyond. So, so it's good that we made extra. Now the only issue is the fact that this is now backed up as well. Then it's not really too important right now. Let's just Let's check this. This is over halfway now. So once we get this done, we can get start working towards neutron collectors. But those are after, way after. So, but before we do that, we need to get the, um, because this requires tier, t tier 9 Galacticraft. And also that for some reason. <laughs> and a lot of these, the, the, not those flux crystals, uh, those, yeah, we do need those flux crystals. We also need this crystallized redstone, and we need vibrantium for it. But the Philosopher's Stone is highest priority. And thus, the rest of uh, Project E will, cut, will follow. Getting there, it's almost seven eighths of the way there. After we get that done, I am going to let's actually check how much mana we have here. Do we enough to make four more terra seal? Oh yeah, we definitely do. Wait, how much terra seal do we have? Ten. So let's see if we can make uh, two more terra steel to start. We gotta take our magnet off for this. That's weird, like Spike. Oh, yeah, that will bring us up to twelve Terra Steel. Yeah, but this used a good amount of our mana, so. I have to wait for that to regenerate. This is our next goal, is to get the Master Infusion Stone, which we need in order to progress further. But the Master Infusion Stone requires a crap ton of Terra Steel. So in addition, we also have to kill the Gaia Guardian multiple times. Why is there a creeper here? I thought I lit this area up. F7. Why is that torch gone? Where is our... No, we should have our dire crafting table. There we go. Go and what is the reward? Legendary. Oh, 
Oh boy, another liquid compressor. Well, that might be useful for making. Speaking of which, did this ever heat up to... No, because it's empty. But did it produce any more gasoline? It produced 15 millibuckets. Oh boy. 15 millibuckets from all that diesel. Okay, I guess we will hook up with another liquid compressor. Every little bit helps, right? I don't know why it's having such a hard time heating up. It never has given me this many issues before. We disconnected it from the, the other the pressure chamber. So why is it giving issues? Okay. Yeah, but we have our dire crafting table now, which I means I think this is a good point to wrap up the episode. But anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.